Hey everybody, I am the Interstellar Teller and I am back with another video. I want to thank you guys for liking, loving, and subscribing to my videos. If you guys like my previous videos, then definitely make sure you like and subscribe to those. Um, I am very appreciative to you all. Um, now, I'm not going to lie, my 9 to 5 is throwing me off of consistency right now, so that's why I haven't been, been able to post as consistently as I wanted to. But... Yet again, I will be back with another weekly. Now, since it is almost Tuesday, um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and throw Tuesday in there. But by the time I post this, Tuesday is probably going to be passed. So just take it as you will. I'm probably going to do it Tuesday to Tuesday. I know that's so jumbled up and inconsistent. But whatever, I'm just going to go with it. And hopefully you guys will too. Now, um, also, um, I decided to keep um, Shooting Stars. Because, uh, of course, there's going to be my starburst um, messages that are going to pop up at any time throughout the video. So make sure you keep your eyes on the screen or you're going to miss them. But also, there's going to be my lucky shooting star fortune. And that is going to be anywhere, one super lucky fortune that's going to help you all throughout the week. And you got to make sure you're looking at the screen at the right time. Just like a shooting star. If you're looking at the sky at the right time, at the right place, then you can catch it. But... The same thing also goes for this message. So make sure you guys keep your eyes on the screen, okay? And um, I'm also filming at the top floor of my apartment complex because um, my husband likes to stream really loud and he makes a lot of loud noises. Um, so if you do hear any background noise, people talking, all that stuff like that, uh, just to, don't pay any attention to it. I was forced into another atmosphere. I think this is better. So. Um, sorry about the lighting. Um, I'm not near any outlets right now, so um, apparently, you know, I'm going to make sure that you guys can still see the cards and everything like that. So um, definitely, you know, just work with me here. But with further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So different, isn't it? All right. So you guys know me. I'm going to start off with my animal deck. gonna be people out here looking at me like what the fuck is she doing oh my god oh my god what the fuck is she doing <laughs> Becky <laughs> let me stop all right so I'm starting off with my animal deck let's go ahead and clear any leftover energy what's gonna be a wonderful guiding animal card for the collective this week um, tomorrow is the 22nd, the 22nd, so let's, October 22nd to, what's Tuesday? October 30th, I believe, could be October 30th. Let me see if I can look at a calendar right quick. Oh, it's the 29th, October 29th. I was close. All right, so what is going to be a wonderful guiding animal energy for the collective from Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024 to October 29th, 2024? Let's go ahead and check, okay? Let's see if one wants to pop out. I got a few that actually do, but we got the rabbit in reverse, so probably not gonna choose that. Here's one. It fell out in reverse, though. Got the pig in reverse. I'm feeling, just like some of these animals, I'm feeling like a lack of abundance. Some of you may be going through, like, a hard time financially. Like, a lack of abundance. What's another um, animal guidance card? Okay, so since one isn't popping out or the ones that are popping out are reversed, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the deck. Cut the deck and draw. We got the well on the bottom. Automatically when I see the well, I'm thinking music therapy. I'm thinking music therapy a lot. Okay. And then we have the beaver. 
So right off the bat, um, I feel like that there are probably some things that are probably going to be working against you guys this week. Um, it's going to be, it's going to, there's going to be a need right off the bat reading intuitively. There is going to be a need for you guys to make music therapy, uh, listen to some music, listen to some musical frequencies, um, even listen to the air outside or because, um, this is a whale, um, it's going to be better for you guys to maybe hear ocean sounds, listen to the sounds of ocean waves, or maybe even fluid like music. And this could be any kind of music, just as long as it has like a fluid kind of beat to it. You know, this could be rap, this could be jazz, this could be pop, this could be whatever. As long as it has like maybe like a fluid sound to it, then that's going to be very therapeutic as well as listening to uh, certain sound frequencies that can help you tune, help, like help you tune out and keep your, keep your mind kind of stabilized and uh, meditative. That's, that's the word I'm getting, meditative. Now, oh Lord, and the wind blowing out here. <laughs> and then I got the beaver. So with the beaver, I'm automatically getting the word defense. So um, beavers build dams, right? But they're also, but they are also representative of the word perseverance. And uh, that was actually a key word for last week. So um, perseverance, um, meditation, um, I'm getting fluidity. Um, I think that's all I'm kind of getting for now. And I both, I got both water animals. So I feel like if you need to take an extra long bath or extra long shower or a jump into the pool, like what's behind me, <laughs> I guess, then, um, that can also be therapeutic. Maybe if some of you, I'm getting that some of you may be athletic as well. So some of you may be very, very good at swimming. So, you know, let your sport be your meditation. This could be any sport, but most particularly if it's a water sport, swimming, surfing, windsurfing, um, water skiing, anything like that. So, or even, or even if you're a diver, you know, you like the scuba dive or, you know, if you're a professional diver, you know, something like that. So, you know, I would say music and water therapy for sure. That's going to help balance, you know, balance your feelings. So now that I've read them intuitively, let's go ahead and read mechanically, which means I'm going to be reading out of the book. So let's go ahead and find whale because that's what I came to first. Okay, so whale means wisdom, vessel, death. Death like deep, <laughs> not death. <laughs> All right, so possessing wisdom as deep as the ocean and intuition as wide as the eye can see, the whale is a vessel of mysterious unconscious, of mysterious unconscious, breaking the surface of the water every time it needs to breathe. The whale implores you to dive deeper into your soul and explore the emotions that run through you. Water represents emotion, and often emotion lies beneath the surface, cycling through our bodies, unseen but felt. The whale asks you to regulate your mind and emotions, becoming the commander of your ship, so that things don't pressurize and shoot up through the blowhole. Sometimes we numb ourselves to feel to feel better, but the well encourages you to go down to the bottom of the ocean and face your deepest fears. Connect with the cosmic power of water and all of this in all of this element you hold in the vessel of your body. Big things are coming. You just got to wait for the right way. Most specifically if you are a surfer, I'm just playing y'all. I mean, it's true, but I don't know. All right, and then let's go ahead and read the beaver. So, like I said, um, like I said, because of water is is emotions. That's why you know I'm getting like you need to like meditate, and you know, I'm getting that you need to be around calm water or you need to channel calm water. So, okay, let's read the beaver. The beaver is inventiveness, tenacity, engineering. Where there's a will, there's a way. Beaver displays a burst of creativity and an upbeat persistence that cannot be dampened. These creatures are industrious in their movements and incredibly resourceful natural builders. Using anything from rocks to tree branches, vegetation, and even mud to construct their dams. They are engineers of their environment, able to carry, project out, able to carry a project out from 
Blueprint to 3D Model. The Beaver aids you in seeing a project through to completion and encourages you to rely on your wits for guidance when you're lacking resources. Be creative. As, envision, as you envision your finished product, how can you reinvent the wheel and put your own spin on it? The Beaver gives you tenacity, follow through, and ingenious problem solving. When you're feeling stuck, summon the Beaver to guide you with precision and diligence, allowing you to identify your blocks so you can break through your personal dams. So what I love here is like between the Beaver, between the Beaver and the whale, there's like blocks, pressure, things being pressed down, things being repressed. I'm getting a lot of repressed emotions. A lot of repressed emotions. So that is why it is, you know, it's going to be good to do a lot of specifically music therapy, listening to frequencies, taking extra long, thoughtful showers or thoughtful baths, thoughtful swims in the swimming pool, or even using your, some of you, like I said, are very athletic. I'm getting that. So basically uh, what you guys can do is that you can meditate through your sport if you want. So go ahead and do that. The wind's trying to blow my cards away, so I gotta be careful. All right, and now, what deck I wanna do? Okay, I'm gonna do this one. We're gonna be some good places for the collective to be able to, you know, what's gonna, where, hold on, let me clear the cards first. Clear these cards with any leftover energy. So we can get a clear a clear message what is going to be what's going to be a good place for the collective to be able to be lucky or stable or balanced or even uplifted and inspired this week what is going to be a great place for the collective this week we're going to see hopefully you guys can see the cards it's light enough out here but i don't have an outlet to like plug in my light so I'll make sure I'll get it as close to the camera as I can. So you guys are going to hear background noise, people talking since I'm kind of like at a public pool area, but there's not really that many people up here. So it's kind of late, which works for me because I'm a night owl. So, oh, here we go. Lake. Didn't I just say a body of water? So some of you guys may actually live by a lake and this is tranquil waters and reflections. Now, one more thing is that I have been getting the word reflect a lot. So that's probably going to end up being a keyword, reflect, um, tune in. I'm also getting frequency, um, perseverance, which was actually a keyword for last week. But, you know, some can, you know, kind of filter in into the into the next week. You know, if, if the presence is needed, you know, if, if the energy is strong enough or if it is needed, you know, strong enough. So that can still linger. Especially, um, Lord, <laughs> especially with the beaver. So, but the lake, remember guys, um, by a, a nice body of water, tranquil waters. Remember I just said earlier, calm water. So, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a lake, but since a lake is recommended, it's probably best to go at a lake, you know, and this can be a tropical lake. It could be an archipelago. It could be a beach if you want. Um, but more likely a lake, maybe a, a forest type of lake. Okay. What else along with the lake? Maybe somebody can, maybe you can go fishing at a lake. I'm getting fishing, I'm getting like, some of you guys like to eat salmon. All right. I love salmon. It's good. All right. Oh, here we go a hotel so maybe you guys need to make a steak like a staycation hotel hospitality comfortable stay travelers retreat so some of you guys may actually need to make a getaway perhaps like um uh, like a cabin getaway now last week one of the directions that was coming out to me the most was the pacific northwest the pacific northwest with all of its coniferous trees and and what water fountains waterfalls and stuff like that it's a very beautiful region you know places like washington and oregon with all those beautiful places so i'm actually getting like a wonderful uh pacific northwest um 
getaway or if not you can just have a staycation so either way something something that can feed you comfort okay and in one more place what's lake what's with lake and hotel what do we have with lake and hotel oh here's one the bathroom remember what i just said earlier taking an extra long bath taking an extra long shower sometimes you just need to sit in there and you need to think the bathroom is um pristine cleanliness water and renewal guys this is crazy so maybe you guys need to go to like a, a hotel by the lake that probably has a really nice bathroom i mean that's just me putting it in the layman term but you can also just if especially if you have a really nice bathroom with a really nice tub with a really nice shower you know let it pamper you okay either way water even drinking water i knew i knew the wind was gonna do it i knew the wind was gonna do it i knew the wind was gonna do it Ugh. okay oh my god <laughs> okay y'all i'm so sorry But water is like a very, like, you know, I remember at one time it was fire, fire, fire. But now this week is water, 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 lots of emotions. So definitely tune to your emotions. I'm also getting don't get drunk. Don't get drunk. Drink lots of water. Maybe tea too, but definitely lots of water. I'm also getting like room temperature water like a really good or like a really good spring water that's what i'm thinking you know a delicious spring water like and i mean guzzles of it you know some of you guys may not have been having enough water intake so you're gonna you know that's going to help you so definitely do that water 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 whether you're bathing in it swimming in it or drinking it so that's always important anyway okay all right uh what other one do I want to do? I think I kind of want to get into money and career, you know? Let's pop in something a little brand new, okay? Clear these cards of any leftover energy so I can get a clear message. So what about career and money for the collective of this week? This is October 22nd. 2024 to October 29th, 2024. Let's see what we got. Something will pop out. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Okay. So we got eggs. Starting over, saving up, resources, nest egg. And some of you could have the career in could have a career in healthcare, and then there could be new opportunities and insurance. Now, this could be healthcare, this could be healthcare insurance, or even getting a new job in that. So um, definitely that. Some of you guys, some of you guys may also uh, be pregnant with a golden egg. So some of you, so some of you ladies out there that may be pregnant, you may be able to give birth to like a star seed or two, or birth to somebody who maybe meant do something big or meant to be famous so that's awesome some of you guys are ovulating right now and then on the bottom was clover lucky break gamble good fortune chance and then there some of you guys could have a career in finance in the outdoors risky business and surprises some of you guys may have a surprise pregnancy <laughs> so <laughs> surprise Okay. Now, what I love is that the word in there is outdoors. And again, you guys may need to go to like a, just a beautiful retreat. Okay. Okay. What else is eggs and clover? Eggs and clover. And that's probably going to be a lucky food for you guys to eat. You know, I know that uh, egg yolk has a lot of vitamins in it. So eat more eggs this week. 
What's egg and clover? There's people walking out here. And I got Becky. I don't care. I'm doing what I got to do. I'm giving my guidance to y'all and to me. They'll be all right. They're going to live. My fortunes ain't speaking to them. The fuck? All right. What's eggs and fortune? Ah, shit. Ooh. Now at the bottom, I got emotional spending, or heart, rather. Emotional spending, joint finances being supported. Some of you could have a career as a counselor guy or having a job that you love, which is awesome. So some of you guys may also end up having a new opportunity to where the job is something you're going to love doing. So, and of, and of course with Clover, um, this is probably going to be a very sustainable job. The money is probably going to be great. Um, some of you may even be up for a raise if, you already, if you're already at a job that you love. And you guys are probably also at, you know, I feel like some of you guys are a job are at a job that could help the youth or help children, you know, someone who needs a lot of emotional understanding and support. Some of you guys may even be um, marriage counselors, you know, but I'm more so just getting uh, something that, uh, I'm more so getting like a career that, that's a nurturing career. Hence, you know, with heart and with healthcare and emotional, you know, being supported or, you know, even with heart, you know, I'm getting, I got the word hospice for whatever reason. Some of you guys may be um, people who, who uh, help people pass on, you know, the one, you know, the, it, it's a very, it's a very deep and, and I don't, I don't, I can't put it into words, but it takes a lot. It takes a lot to help somebody pass away. So I feel like some of you guys may have a job in that or you're going to, you know, it's a very compassionate job. You know, I feel like only very compassionate people can have a career that way. And it's to me, that's very special because there's not a lot of compassionate people in this world. This world is fucked up. So. <laughs> okay. And then light bulb. Now, light bulb is lucrative ideas, new income source, inspiration. And then some of you guys could be an entrepreneur. Some of you guys, again, get a new job or creative work. Again, I am seeing new job, new job, new job, new job. So some of you guys are really out to, um, some of you guys are going to poss possibly even, not even have to apply. You probably might have uh, businesses that might reach out to you because they like what you see. They say, hey, we saw your resume on so-and-so and we want you to apply to us. Like. Sometimes you got people who would do that. I'm also getting internships. Somebody may be um, very impressed with you as an intern. Okay. So that's money and career. That's amazing. I like that. But one thing I do want to warn is that with that extra money, with that extra money, it's going to be better for you guys to save. Okay. Don't spend impulsively. Don't emotional spend, or at least don't do it too much. I don't see you getting into a lot of trouble with that, but still, it's a good habit that, you, that you're going to want to keep. I'm also getting investing, so some of you guys are going to, some of you guys are probably going to be uh, lucrative at investing. Some of you guys might get serendipity in investing into something, like if you put money into a random stock, that shit's probably going to like shoot up or something, so... Think about that for a second, okay? All right. And then, what's another deck I wanna do? Let's go ahead and do this one. I love that the air is basically kinda just giving like a different vibe out here, so I'm actually quite digging that. I'm not sure how often I'll be out here, you know, you'll probably see me fluctuate between my apartment and up here, depending on what time of night, what type of day, maybe. Okay, let's go ahead and clear these cards of any leftover energy. Okay, so, so far, 
what can be added to the spread? Oh, we flipped over. Ooh, I got two things that came out. Okay, so one left. Mm, hold on. Okay, there's a, mm, there's a bunch. Hold on. Okay, so one came out for sure, and that's called One Last Move. You have come far on your journey. Keep going, and you will soon see what you have accomplished. So I'm actually getting that some of you guys were probably frustrated. I'm getting frustrated, which is hence the whale. And then, of course, um, hence the beaver. I feel like some of you guys are kind of like at your wits end with something, but you are about to have a lucky break. So just keep in there. Keep in there. You don't have very long to go. You don't have very long to go. Something click. Got the word click. Some of you guys might work with a computer. So I don't know, but or something will click. Something will click on. I don't know. And it might be sudden too. Let me see. What else is with one last move? Oh my gosh, okay. I don't want the wind to blow my cars away. I'm gonna stop making fun, okay? I'm gonna stop making fun. <laughs> Every time I say that, the wind wants to blow my cars away. Oh my God, Becky. <laughs> All right. Okay, so meadow of moments. Bask in the meadow of moments where presence blossoms in the simplicity of now. Now, what I absolutely love is that when you're in when you're in a bathroom or when you're in a hotel or when you're in tranquil waters, you know, you can bask in that moment. You see how meditative she's looking in here? She's like, oh, yes, the earth is beautiful. I don't know. But, <laughs> but this would be this is a, a great time to to also just sit. I, get, I'm, I keep getting the word reflect. So keep reflecting, sit, and be in the presence of, of the moment. I think I'm getting rushing. Some people may have been rushing too much for the past week. But, you know, also being frustrated can, can do that. Can You know, being frustrated can cause impatience. So that's probably why this is a week to just, like, reflect. You got, you got some things where it's like, you know, you need to sit and contemplate. Contemplation is different from reflecting because contemplation is kind of like planning or trying to prepare, you know, but reflecting is kind of like looking back and like almost not even just looking back into the past, but even looking at moments in the pet in the present around you and, you know, see if you can take reference from those things. You know, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting how much have I grown from the starting point? That's what I'm getting. What has been my progress so far? See, I feel like I'm getting I'm getting the vibe that some of you guys have been focused too much on the destination and not really on the journey. Okay? The journey is what's the most fun. So be present in the journey. Oh my god, Becky! <laughs> Commitment. Commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Guys, I promise you, you know, don't get frustrated. And then there is higher wisdom at the bottom. Explore options, learn what you can, and expand your horizons. Now, what I'm also getting here is that not only could there be like a lucky break, but some of you guys may end up getting an opportunity that you haven't expected and you might turn your nose up at it at first, but you have no idea how much better it will end up working out for you. I must be hitting something because it's trying to get the glowy out here, but oh my God, Becky. ahead and do another deck all right so let's clear these cards of any leftover energy so that we can get a clear message and remember keep your eyes on the screen I 
thinking about playing music out here, but I like the sounds of nature better. that fill out but all right so what else can be contributed to this spread so one of the cards that came out was shield and that means support protection defensive remember i was getting the word defense earlier defensive protect support so i'm getting like some of you guys are going to be supported in what you do you know you guys may even have unfounded support or support that you didn't expect to have okay safeguard block guardian stand up for being prepared heroic stronghold security ward off on more unwanted energies be on guard with stand now a few things I'm getting out of that is defense, support, and blockages. Now, like I said, some of you guys, you want to know, you want to know how you can probably use a blockage to your advantage. A blockage that is made into your advantage is when there is a time to sit and reflect, which is a key word this week. So that's probably why it's important. And water is the element of reflection. You know, it is it is the only element that you can see your reflection on. You know, you can't see your reflection in air. You can't see your reflection in fire. You can't see your reflection on earth. But you can see it in water, which is why it is a very it is a very uh, meditative and well reflective type element. Okay. What else we got? This is when blocks happen because I feel like, in a way, blocks happen because at some point, even though even though you're stuck, this is when you still need to think and problem solve, but also need to reflect. Sometimes you would need to look back and be like, okay, what led me to this blockage? And then that's your first start. Okay, what else would shield? Corset. Now, corset is uh, being held together, shape shift, boundaries, restriction, print and proper, following rules, structured, buttoned up, perfect posture, holding it together, support, shape shift, people pleaser, support again. So, like I said, there's going to be a lot of support. You know, you guys are not alone in what you feel and what you're going through. There's probably going to be more people than you think that's probably going to understand what it is that you're going through. I'm trying to keep my deck from blowing away. But um, also being held together, I'm seeing people who are like, I'm seeing people who are like wearing a really nice suit. Some of you guys could be getting a corporate job. Somebody's going off of going after a new corporate opportunity. One of my cards flew away. Look what flew away. Look what flew, crew support right so crew is in sync a spirit decor working together as a unit team leadership co-create pooling assets camaraderie gung-ho forming alliances partnership and team effort so i mean i would feel like support is like That's probably one of the biggest keywords. It's probably up there with reflection. Okay, it's probably up there with reflection because I I can and, 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 and I, I'm all I'm honestly beginning to think there's probably going to be divine support too, divine support. So don't look past that either. There's probably going to be support from all sides, and you don't even know. Okay, I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing. Okay, and what's crazy is that the, the wind blew this off the top blew it off the top some of you guys probably got a nice group of friends who are going to look after you as well okay and then remember what i said look at them they're on the water and in the boat so like i said some of you guys could even go go out with friends to like a water retreat or something like that so again i'm also thinking like i said remember i said earlier that i feel like some of you guys are athletic you guys probably are really good friends with your team you know, or you and your team get along very well. You guys probably compete as one. You guys probably win a lot of shit <laughs> for some of you. So, you know, keep it up, you know.
You got people that have your back. Okay? Something flipped over. Okay, what else we got? Corset Shield Crew. Slingshot. Tension Strain, Sudden Anxiety. Pressure, launch, stress, pull, set in motion, focus, begin, force, change, pulled in opposite directions, ready, aim, fire. Now, some of you guys could also be, I'm getting stressed about a competition. Maybe there's a big game coming up. Okay. But I'm also, like I said, some of you guys from for the past week have been having a lot of stress or a lot of tension or a lot of anxiety. So this is the week to calm down. Now, I'm not saying stop. I'm not saying stop or slow down because there's, there's not even any slow animals. Like there's not any slow moving animals in here at all. It's just, it's more like animals that are like trying to be held together, trying to stay calm trying to keep balance keep their pressure low some of you guys have been getting high blood pressure so look out for that i'm getting high blood pressure be careful okay that's another reason why you guys might need to calm down okay and then what else we got Slingshot, corset, crew, shield. What else we got? What else we got? And then I'm going to go to another deck. Emerald. <laughs> Somebody just scream. What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Oh my God, Becky. All right. <laughs> okay, so at the bottom was Constellation. I love any card with stars in it. You know me. I'm an interstellar teller. Of course. Now, Constellation has network, support, associates, gathered meetings, socialized, organization, arrangement, a collection, exchanging data, influence, in connection with, and a large amount or quantity. So, are some of you also speaking in front of a large group of people for a presentation? If so, you are going to have people who support you in this as well. This is going to be... If, if this is what you have to do, you're going to be uh, meeting with a lot of, um, or at least, if, probably a lot, probably a lot, but at, if not that, at least a decent number of, of influential people, of uh, influential people who are going to help you have a great network, okay? This is going to be an influential, supportive network, okay? So make sure you stay on your P's and Q's, but do not let yourself get overwhelmed. Do not let yourself get stressed out. When you come from a calm and reflective state of mind, you know, you're going to be able to center yourself to know that you got this. A stable mind is a clear one, okay? And then what else came out was Emerald. Now, right off the bat, I'm getting that, you know, if some of you who like to wear emeralds, you know, this is a great time to wear anything emerald or emerald color. So that's probably going to be a lucky color, which, you know, clovers tend to be emerald color. Kind of. Yeah. So I'm getting like emerald, like a rich emerald green. Emerald, emerald green is going to be a great lucky color throughout this week, you know, according to the clover and with emeralds. Emerald means healing, fertility. Some of y'all are pregnant. Or at least you're on the time of the month or something. I don't know. But healing, fertility, eternity, reflection, humility, sexuality, rare, peace, soul restoration, growth, strong relationship, balance, free-flowing love, mature love, and heart chakra. Okay? So what I'm also getting is that some of you guys may have, may have like a wounded heart chakra. So like I said, as far as being reflective, not just, I'm not really getting openness, but being reflective. Reflective. That's like huge. Re support and reflection are the biggest things that I'm getting this week. And these are going to be amazing things that you guys are going to get this week. Okay. I'm also getting like green colored foods, like uh, dark leafy green foods. Um, I know, I think, 
that was on my list last week or maybe the week before but it's gonna be a great time to also um eat dark leafy greens as well i'm getting i keep feeling that some of you guys may have a vitamin deficiency oh my god becky <laughs> some of you guys may have a vitamin deficiency so definitely uh, take care of your vitamin intake okay dark leafy greens for sure will help you do that especially if some of you guys may be low on iron some of you guys may not be sleeping well so um the more iron you take the more oxygen you're going to have in your brain the more oxygen you have in your brain you know the better you're going to think the better it's going to function um some of you guys are going to need brain food okay I know that fish is a good brain food. All right. Okay, so, so far, let me see what type of energies I'm getting out of here. I'm getting a lot of mix right now, a lot of mixed energies. Oh my God, Becky. Oh my God. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Yes. In five minutes, it will be closed. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so y'all heard that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, okay? And then, um, like I said, you guys are going to um, get all of my Starburst messages. I'm going to do like a few last minute things in here. And um, then I guess I'll got to get ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Since there is a time restriction, and this is the first time that I'm going to be doing my shooting star messages, I'm going to give you something very rare. This is not going to happen all the time, so make sure you definitely keep your eyes on the screen. It's going to be very rare. I'm going to give you two. Who going to see two shooting stars in one night? You. That two. Okay. So let's go ahead and hurry up. I got less than five minutes. Okay, so what can contribute to the spread? Light bulb, okay? Aha moment, discovery, breakthrough, reveal, realize, enlightenment, epiphany, illumination, invention, intellect. Now what I'm loving, what I'm absolutely loving here. Remember I said I got the vibe of something like clicking? Remember I got the vibe of something clicking? Light bulb, light bulb. Something is going to be like, aha. And I, I love that. You know, I think that's probably going to be a lucky break. I wouldn't be surprised if you were somebody that suddenly got on somebody else's mind as far as love goes, but also maybe career and money rise as well. Somebody might, I, I'm getting the feeling that somebody might just call you out of nowhere. And I wish it could be much more detailed than this, guys, but because I'm on a time restrict, I got to make it short, okay? And then I have Trophy on the bottom. So I feel like this is going to be a very successful week, guys. Um, trophy is win, victory, reputation, success, key experience, merit, goals, recognition, fame, deserving a world, deserving a world, award, ambition, and in, an achievement. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, the stress is going to be for nothing. But do stay on your P's and Q's. Uh, dot your I's, cross your T's. But know that you're going to succeed and you have all the support and more than you could ever need. Okay, let's do two more cards that came up. So lighthouse, lots of light, lots of light and water. And then like light and water that's behind me. Okay. Guidance system, detour, safe passage, warning, plot a course of action, navigating obstacles, use tact and diplomacy. All right, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before they be like, Oh, you're supposed to leave and I'm like I I'm getting I'm getting out of here so all right guys I love you make sure you like subscribe and also keep me in your notifications so that you don't miss my post I'm sorry for the inconsistency you know my nine to five keeps me very busy but in the meantime I'm going to keep on doing what I do I love you guys stay tuned for next week you're gonna see all my lucky stuff all at the end of the video and make sure you never take your eyes off the screen so you can catch all of my lucky stuff all right guys love you and bye bye